Buongiorno mi amici! Io mi chiamo Terry Ruccio. Questa di scuola di Serious Automotive Training. Good morning everyone and welcome to Adams County, Pennsylvania. My name is Terry Rooch and this is Serious Automotive Training. Today I want to continue with module 9. This is our last module on definitions for students, technicians, dealers, or uh, vehicle owners for Pennsylvania Motor Vehicle Safety Inspection. The information I utilize has nothing to do with PennDOT. I'm not endorsed by PennDOT. I previously taught for many years in high school, community college, and overseas. So my background has also been teaching and certifying hundreds of Pennsylvania state inspection mechanics. Today's topic is motorcycles. Why is it important to understand the different types of motorcycles? Well, when you continue through with certification, you're going to need to take a uh, tactile exam and you're also going to need to take a baseline exam for inspecting motorcycles for category two. Now, if you're pursuing one of the other categories, of course, you need to be fully aware for your baseline exam, these definitions, whether this is your initial certification as an inspection mechanic, or if you're using the PA portal for a recertification exam. Or in some cases, if you've missed your opportunity to renew your safety inspection mechanic card, you may need to attend another class, which is no problem. It's only $40 more to go and sit to someone through the class, and hopefully it's me. So, continuing on with uh, motorcycles, I'd like to start off with um, a question I had this week that was asked of me about motorcycles, and they wanted to know if they could inspect a motorcycle in the winter. Of course you could. Motorcycles get inspected during the winter. There's no problem. It could be trailered in. It gets inspected. The problem you'll have is performing the road test due to road conditions. So if the road test will not permit you to inspect the vehicle properly, you cannot update the sticker or pass the vehicle for safety inspection. Now, uh, if your location is big enough that you could drive on the, uh, the location itself, then that may be perfect. But as far as you getting on the road, road conditions, heavy rain, ice, whatever, if you cannot perform the inspection, portion of the road test, it will not pass. So, great question. Today I'm going to talk about uh, one, two, three, four, five different definitions on motorcycles. We're going to talk about three bulletins. We're going to talk about the motorcycle fact sheet. We're going to be using publication 45, but for today's definitions, we are mainly going to use the fact sheet from the PA Motor Vehicle website, which is for mopeds, motorcycles, and motor-driven cycles that's dated June of 2017. So that's going to be my resource for today. Uh, instead of digging back into uh, publication 45 and having us chase all the way out to uh, PA code title, remember 75 is where you'll get the definition. So we're going to stick to my definitions today. They're pretty much the same. Let's start up at the top here with a moped. The fancy name for a moped is a motorized pedicycle. So I kind of characterize things here for us, make it a little bit user friendly for understanding what these definitions are. So let's start at the top here with a moped. These were real popular when I was a kid back in the 70s into the 80s. You've seen a lot of mopeds on the street. Uh, the classification of a moped is that it's under 50 cc. So the cubic centimeter dimensions of the engine is 50 cc or less. It does have an automatic transmission. Max horsepower is one and a half horse. Can't go over 25 miles an hour. You do need a class C, a car license to drive this. And does it get a certificate of inspection? No, it doesn't get inspected. Let's continue on our next definition. Now we're gonna take a look at motor driven cycles, which is a fancy word for a scooter. Now, scooters in PA, there's some fine lines for scooters. Uh, there is no max uh, up to the horsepower here. We got five horsepower, but there's no doesn't have to have an automatic transmission, and there is no max CC for a motor scooter. Max speed, state doesn't set any. Uh, to drive this, you need a class M, but there is restrictions for a C here that I'll talk about in a second, but it does get inspected. This will get inspected, okay? So with the inspection mechanic, he would have to have a motorcycle license. 
Now, let's go back to the, the C license. You can drive this as a, as a C, but the scooter with a car license has to be 50cc or less. It has to have the automatic transmission. So see, there's a little bit fine line there. It's important to know because these motor scooters do get inspected in Pennsylvania, which is what's real important that we need to discuss. A motor scooter in Pennsylvania is titled and registered as a motor-driven cycle. It doesn't mean it's legal. I'm sure it came from China today. So, vehicle equipment is critical for scooters. Even though it's a scooter, it may not have all the required lighting on it. It may not have the required fenders on it. So under Pennsylvania law, all that equipment is required and then gets inspected according to the equipment inspection criteria. So we'll talk about that when we get to motorcycle subchapter J, but for now, just understand what the definition of a motor-driven cycle is. Pennsylvania, we call it a scooter. A pedicycle. In Italiano, we call a pedicycle a biciclette. It's a bicycle. You don't need anything. There's no requirement. Uh, does it fall under Pennsylvania Motor Vehicle Code? Of course it does. Uh, but it's not inspectable. There's no license for it. Right now you see a lot of additional equipment added to bicycles. Small gas engine, two-stroke engine mounted on the back. Uh, there are laws for those, but it doesn't fall under uh, the laws that we abide by for PennDOT. It's more with ATVs. So for now, just as long as we know, a pedicycle is human solely powered bicycle. That's the definition that we want to stick with. No inspection stick. Motorcycle, well, that's the big one. Real important to remember that a motorcycle is also a three-wheel tricycle. Now, when we talk about motorcycles, there's been an addition back, uh, let's refer here to Bolton from February 2012. They did change the definition, definition of motorcycle down at the... Uh, uh, down at PennDOT, all the way through the House of Representatives. My good friend, Speaker of the House, Keith McCall, was involved with this. So, what you need to be aware of is that a motorcycle, they change the definition, I'll read it here, is designed to travel on two wheels in contact with the ground, which is modified by the addition of two stabilizing wheels on the rear of the motor vehicle. So now they put like training wheels in the back of this. What's important to remember as an inspection mechanic with these stabilizing wheels mounted to the back of the motorcycle, almost like training wheels that come in contact with the ground. Now we have four wheels in contact, even though a motorcycle is two or three wheels. With the addition to this amended definition, all the way back to 2011, they are not required to have brakes on those stabilizing wheels. So let's step back here to a tricycle with the addition of the extra wheel on the back for a motorcycle. Absolutely, this tricycle would have to have, the trike would have to have brakes on both sides. A sidecar mounted to the motorcycle, it doesn't need brakes on the sidecar. Same as the trailer. Motorcycle gets a trailer, a little pup trailer they pull along. It's under the 3,000 pounds. It's not required to have uh, brakes on that trailer. Okay, but it does get registered title in Pennsylvania. So we're going on a motorcycle. We talked about the tricycle. Auto cycle, this, we talked about this probably three times already. Uh, we won't beat it up. But just so you know, there is a great fact sheet on the auto cycle. You do need a Class C license. So if you're going to inspect one of these auto cycles, you need a car license. And yes, it does get a certificate of inspection. What's important to remember, these auto cycles are motorcycles. So they'll get inspected as a motorcycle. They will get a motorcycle inspection certificate of inspection okay the difference between a car sticker and a bike sticker is the car sticker has the glue on the back the bike sticker and the trailer have it on the other side the only difference between the two is TSC 63 and the other ones is 61 okay continuing on here another uh, bulletin I just wanted to throw at you this one is all the way back to April of 99 this is regarding um, a pedicycle carrying device so real important remember these definitions so back then they amended the law they said that buses used for public transportation so like SEPT in Philly can have equipment mounted on the front of the bus 
to carry a pedicycle. Real important because as an inspection mechanic, that equipment with the bike can extend 36 inches forward of the bus, but it also obstructs the lights on the bus. So PennDOT says, you know what? It's more important to get the people home at night with their bike. Don't worry about it. It could block or protrude into the light area. So Bolton, April 99, if you work for SEPTA or Lanta, here's your, your proof is right here. I don't like to give anything out unless I've seen it in black or white or if I heard it from my good friends down at uh, the Bureau of Motor Vehicles. Let's continue on here. Uh, we talked about the bulletin. We got one more bulletin I want to talk about here. Last but not least, I have a bulletin here from March of 2004. This was a real critical one because it had to do with motorcycle handlebars. Because up to 2004, you couldn't have a motorcycle with handlebars above your shoulders. Um, they, we, they used to call them ape hangers. The, the movies, they'd show um, the ape hanging from the bars. So now... They changed it so you could have handlebars that are mounted above your shoulder, which is also an inspectable item. So, March of 2004. One last thing I want to show you on this St. Patrick's Day weekend down here in Adams County. Something uh, trivial that I like to always discuss in Pennsylvania since we were one of the three in 1929, the three states that implemented a motor vehicle inspection program. Mandatory. 1926 was the first program. It was voluntary. 1929, three states, including Pennsylvania, launched motor vehicle safety inspection. It was the Department of Revenue, same year. And here we are, 90-some years later, still up and running. So, question. I've got a vehicle, a motorcycle, a motor-driven cycle, a scooter. Could this be inspected in Pennsylvania? Could it be titled, registered? Well, it's a 1975 Honda 70. It's screaming green. Screaming mighty green was the color, so it's a St. Patrick's Day color. Absolutely, this is all the required equipment. It's titled as a motorcycle. It's registered in Pennsylvania, and it gets a safety inspection sticker. There's an older sticker on the back. The new ones do get mounted on the front, okay? So this is perfectly legal in Pennsylvania. Now, it may only do 45 miles an hour, so there are laws in Pennsylvania where that vehicle cannot be driven to obstruct traffic by keeping it slower. So be aware that if you're going to drive something like that, there are laws that require you to maintain highway speed. Could it be inspected? Absolutely. It's perfectly legal for Pennsylvania Highway. And of course, it needs insurance. I think we covered everything on our last module number nine here for... Uh, definitions. We'll just recap, regroup, re, uh, and uh, talk about what we uh, covered here. The definitions we talked about mopeds, they don't get inspected. Scooters in Pennsylvania, yes, there's two types of scooters, by the way. So you can see the ones with uh, without an automatic transmission or bigger than a 50cc, you need a C license, not an M. Okay? Now, uh, we talked about the bicycle, we talked about a tricycle. We talked about an auto cycle. Good information on that. Remember, is an auto cycle is a car or a bike, motorcycle, in PA. Three different bulletins: February of 2012, March of 04, and April 99. Look up, look these up on the Department of Website Motor Vehicle website. You can find them under Publications for Business Partners. Great information. We talked about the fact sheet for motorcycles, which is also on the website for June of 17. And I think that's uh, tutu aposta for all my friends out there. Have a great weekend. Have a great St. Patrick's Day. I'll get back to you next week. We're going to finish subchapter A, and then we're going to go right into B, and hopefully we can wrap up this inspection class. It's free online. Email me, seriousautotraining at yahoo.com. Follow me on LinkedIn, or just watch my training videos on YouTube. Again, have a great afternoon.